So, so far this week, we've talked about adjectives and um, some more adjectives called articles. And today, we're going to continue talking about adjectives with demonstrative adjectives. So, here we go. All right, let's talk about demonstrative adjectives. So, we've been talking about adjectives this week, and of course, we've talked about adjectives all year long. And we know that an adjective describes a noun. And when it's describing that noun, it describes what kind, how many, or which one. Well, the which one is the demonstrative adjective. So here's rule number one and the definition of demonstrative adjective. A demonstrative adjective tells which one or which ones. The words this, that, these, and those are demonstrative adjectives. Right, first, let's talk about this and these. Generally speaking, we use this or these to refer to people and things, situations and experiences that are close to the speaker or very close in time. All right, let's talk about the rule for using that or those. We use that or those to refer to people and things or situations and experiences that are more distant, either in time or physically distant. All right, so let's use this example. All right, so picture there's a table sitting right in front of you, and there's a table across the room from you. All right, let's say there is one cookie on the table that's in front of you and one cookie on the table across the room from you. So if you point at the cookie on the table right in front of you, you would say this cookie. If you were pointing at the cookie on the table that was across the room from you, you would say that cookie. Same thing if you had a, a plate full of cookies on the table right in front of you, you would say these cookies. If it was a plate full of cookies on the table across the room from you, you would point at them and say those cookies. Of course, it's not polite to point, so we wouldn't do that. All right, so let's look at part A on your activity page 53. The instructions say, underline the demonstrative adjective in each sentence. So you know you're going to be looking for one of four words. This, that, these, and those. Number one, I guess we didn't need all of these maps. So of course you're going to look in that sentence and you see the demonstrative adjective these. And then you have to think, well, if, if they're saying these maps, then they must be maps that are sitting pretty closely to that person, right? If they were across the room, they would point and say those maps. But of course, again, we wouldn't point because it's not polite. All right, so you would just underline these. All right, let's look at part B. The instructions say, rewrite each sentence, replacing the demonstrative adjective with the word shown in parentheses. And yes, you will need to write these sentences. Number 11, on that trip, we explored the farmer's market. So we see in that sentence that our demonstrative adjective is that which means that we're talking about a trip that um, occurred at a later period of time, not more recently. But we want to replace that with the opposite, this. On this trip, we explored the farmer's market. So that would mean a trip that, that more recently occurred. So like I said, on the line, on this trip, we explored the farmer's market. And you do have that introductory phrase, on this trip, which you need a comma after. Just throwing in a little extra lesson there for you. Your lesson on demonstrative adjectives. You may now complete page 53 of Language Arts. And if you need any help, you know where to find me. Have a great day.